In the past, cavalry soldiers headed to battle with swords and spears. Today, they rely on advanced technology to win battles. One of the most significant developments is the emergence of the Infantry Fighting Vehicle, or IFV. What great IFVs do you know? Evolving from light tanks into multifunctional platforms equipped with modern armaments, IFVs have become crucial on the battlefield. Among the many options available, the Puma, Lynx, and CV-90 are often cited as the best in their class. However, which of these can truly be considered the worthy successor to legendary armored vehicles? Let's explore further. The Puma and Lynx have not yet been used directly in active combat scenarios, but they have been involved in extensive testing, competitions, and procurement evaluations by various armed forces. The CV-90, on the other hand, has been used in military operations in several countries, albeit not on a large scale. All three are major competitors in the modern military market and are frequently evaluated for their suitability in various national defense programs. Before comparing which one is the greatest, let's take a closer look at each vehicle. The Puma IFV belongs to the German Army and has participated in various international defense exhibitions and trials. In the battlefield, the Puma excels in protection and firepower. The Lynx was designed by the German defense industry, Rheinmetall, to meet the demands of modern warfare while considering adaptability. The Combat Vehicle 90, or CV-90, was developed by BAE Systems Heglins for the Swedish Army. It was created to provide the necessary capabilities for modern conflicts and ensure high levels of protection and combat effectiveness for its crew. So, do you have a guess? Which is the true champion, the German Lion, the Young Wolf, or the Field Veteran? Puma is optimally produced by Rheinmetall and KNDS Deutschland, GmbH, under the auspices of PSM Project System and Management. In its class, it performs exceptionally well, with highly effective modular protection for its crew against mines, anti-tank weapon fire, and improvised explosive devices, achieving a level of survivability unmatched by other vehicles of its kind. The Puma has a unique capacity, offering space for nine crew members, while also providing lethal capabilities, making it highly suitable for advanced, network-supported operations. It is extremely versatile, with tactical mobility that allows it to be airlifted to remote operational areas using military transport aircraft like the A400M. With 7.4 meters in length and 3.7 meters in width, the Puma can carry up to nine personnel. This vehicle is also equipped with comprehensive armaments, including a 30 mm automatic cannon, a coaxial machine gun, and a missile launcher system. This combination of weaponry gives the Puma the ability to engage various types of targets, both on the ground and in the air, with unmatched combat effectiveness and firepower. Move, feel, strike. Here's Link's IFV. Its main feature is its adaptability. Measuring 7.73 meters in length and 3.6 meters in width, the Lynx has a digital framework with a generic open architecture that allows for easy integration of new mission systems. Its survivability systems are modular and can be upgraded, enabling the vehicle to handle the highly adaptive threats faced on the battlefield. Moreover, Equipped with the latest generation propulsion technology, featuring a Liebherr 850 kilowatt engine and proven rank transmission, it functions like a battle horse, capable of enduring peer-on-peer -peer combat while weighing around 44 tons and achieving speeds of up to 70 kilometers per hour. Don't doubt its survivability. It comes with easily interchangeable ballistic and mine protection packages, even in the field if necessary. 
Its primary armament includes a Wotan 35mm cannon, a primary integrated weapon system MSSA with 360-degree view sensors, and guided anti-tank missiles. Now, who can doubt its lethality? It can instantly detect specific threats and easily track targets automatically. On the battlefield, the CV-90 leads with agility and power. This vehicle has the strength to integrate various weapon systems, from 30mm, 35mm, to 40mm automatic cannons. With the capability to engage all types of targets, the CV-90 is a loyal companion to ground forces around the world. Its features are truly impressive. Imagine, with its advanced jamming system, the CV-90 can easily identify friend from foe. Its active protection provides an additional sense of security, while guided anti-tank missiles and the latest electro-optical targeting systems enhance situational awareness. Furthermore, built-in cybersecurity makes it more resilient, safeguarding its electronic systems for a more secure future. Measuring 6.47 meters in length and 3.19 meters in width, the CV-90 weighs 22.8 tons, giving it agility with a speed of 70 kilometers per hour when moving forward and 43 kilometers per hour in reverse. Over time, the CV-90 has continuously been upgraded, providing better protection, firepower, and ergonomics for its crew, significantly enhancing combat effectiveness. Modernization of the turret has made this vehicle even more adaptable, creating better balance and new options for weapon systems and crew solutions. This is a significant advancement, a product of BAE Systems, which has made the CV-90 an unparalleled infantry fighting vehicle. Each of the three IFVs Puma, Lynx, and CV-90 offers unique advantages that make them strong competitors on the modern military stage. The Puma stands out for its excellent protection and advanced operational capabilities. The Lynx impresses with its flexibility and modern weapon systems, while the CV-90 relies on extensive combat experience and high adaptability. But for you, who is the ultimate winner among these IFVs? Leave your thoughts and thanks for watching.